Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the Boltonator and I will be your host on this trip down the road of the crazy, insane, chaotic, and idiotic world of TikTok, plus some Karen freakouts. If you're new to this channel, please go down and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and for some reason uh, YouTube thinks that's important. Uh, hashtag I don't give a shit. Some of these will make you cringe, some of them will make you laugh, some of them will flat out traumatize you. And if you have any comments or suggestions, keep them to yourself, please. Really, hashtag don't give a shit. Once again, I'm just being an ass. Uh, we're going to have some fun with these uh, TikToks, we're going to have some fun with these Karen freakouts. Uh, I am, of course, going to just act like an asshole idiot and uh, make fun of pretty much everything. So, let's have a great time and let's roll on the TikToks. Man, this shit right here go to Jimmy Mooney and all y'all other TikTok fighters on that bullshit. Talking about y'all the biggest and the baddest. Don't let that Circle K hat fool y'all. Pull up, bro. Y'all don't want this shit, none of y'all. All right, all right. Hold it. Freeze! Is this guy for real? His, <laughs> his fighting style is like a prison bitch on cell block C. And, not to mention... The tattoos. It looks like he fell asleep at a party and everybody drew dicks on him or something. Um, if this is for real, <laughs> I would break this mother's clucker like a damn twig. Uh, not to mention, I think he invented some new kicks. Uh, if you want to call them that, they, they kind of look more like, oh, uh, Fozzie Bear flailing at Kermit the Frog. I don't know. You know, Put it in the comments below. Anybody think this is real? <laughs> if it is, this boy's got some problems. I just want to give a special shout out to all my ladies out there, especially the ones in Illinois. Shout out, ladies. Remember, Drew's Big Law. All right. This one I have... Uh, some reservations with picking on too much but he sure does think he is an amazing ladies man um <laughs> shout out shout out <laughs> to all them ladies out there especially the ones in illinois oh uh, it's too bad he he kind of looks like a mexican potato head with a really bad mustache but let's move on because I don't want to pick on this poor guy with his fur coat too much. How dare you! Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a crow. I'm fine, though. All right, I am taken aback with how amazing, awesome. An impression of a crow this gentleman just made. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, okay, I'm lying my ass off. They did a better impression in Saving Silverman with caca, caca, than this guy did. Where the hell does R -E -E -O -R 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 sound like a crow? Come on, fool. Wake it up. I do appreciate your insanity, though. Get your ass on that bed and prepare for the night of your life. <laughs> this guy is owning it. He's freaking hilarious. <laughs> He knows who he is. <laughs> He's just rocking this 
like a mofo. Uh, <laughs> those eyes, the way he, the way he expresses himself. You know, in true life, uh, if he was gunting down with the woman, his tits be slapping her in the face, and he might be crushing the life out of her, but she'd be laughing the whole time. He's awesome. Damn! You know his friend set him up, and that guy was getting up, and he was fixing to kick some fucking ass. That's why, like, three or four of them got up like, Oh, you okay, bro? You okay, bro? He was ready to whoop some ass. That shit's messed up. Poor popcorn motherfucker. <laughs> All right, I know everything's been pretty humorous to this point. I don't mean to make everything take a downer, but... We're going to fill in a Karen video. I know, I know, fucking Karens. But this one, I have to give props to the air crew on this plane because this lady is crazy. And they handled it with the utmost respect. And they're just awesome. Let's just roll it. I'm not sitting here. It did not safe. Do you understand? Ma'am, there is nothing wrong you see. Do you understand? No, ma'am. I, I don't understand. You can't make me. I'm not sitting here. Yes, please. I work hard. I pay for my seats. Clearly, it's gonna put my life in danger. A vaccination card so they're putting her life in danger because she thinks this guy is unvaccinated just to clarify the point okay so you're gonna move him that's how it's gonna be I understand then move him ma'am this is a full flight I can't move anyone do you want me to call the cops do you want to lose your job do you because right now you're violating my rights as, as a citizen, as a human being. You're intentionally putting me in danger. I do not wish anyone to be in danger. Thank you, then move him, ma'am. Yeah. This is the full flight. I can't move him. I, I, don't, I don't want to sit there. Do you want me to call the cops? Because I will. I'll call them right now. You can't yeah. move people because they don't want to sit next to them. He's, he's violating our rights and our safety. I asked him for his vaccine card, and he doesn't have one because he's not vaccinated. Hey, look, you can't go you have to have a mask and be vaccinated. Holy pussy twat. From hell, this woman needs to be flogged. I'm not wearing a mask because I have asthma. I have a health condition. I have children. I'm fully vaccinated to protect them. You're intentionally putting my health at risk right now. Yeah. If you wish to be on this flight, I need you to take a seat. Okay, that is the seat you paid for, and it's the only one of the... All right. Why do people fall for the rhetoric of if they're not vaccinated, they're intruding on the health of the vaccinated? She's like, I've been vaccinated to protect my children. But if you have the vaccine, doesn't that mean you're protected? Or at least that's what they say. So why would you worry about the unvaccinated giving you the disease? If you're vaccinated, shouldn't you worry about, since you can contract the disease while you're vaccinated, to giving the unvaccinated the disease who are more likely to supposedly die? Uh, okay, just, just a thought. I know the law. You're break you're violating the law right now. You're completely breaking the law. You have to find me another seat. It's not the law to be vaccinated to come on this flight. You can't make me breathe his oxygen because he's not vaccinated. You're not listening to me. If you wish to be on this flight, I need you to take your seat. I'm not sitting there. You're putting my life in danger right now. I cannot be Are y'all catching on to this? The lady is. How can I breathe his oxygen? 
Well, for one, if he's breathing the oxygen, that's his oxygen. The other oxygen in the air is the one you're breathing, so therefore it would be your oxygen. But it's not like the guy has leprosy or, or the plague. Uh, he, he doesn't probably even have the freaking Rona. This lady is crazy. Do you want me to see my children? Oh, yes, yeah, I'm putting them at risk now. I one available. I don't want to sit there. He's not vaccinated. You're intentionally putting my life in danger. Now we are not putting your life in danger. I'm not going to sit there. No, I'm not sitting there. How many times do I have to say this? All right. This pilot is about to drop some bombs. And the bombs are totally logical. He is amazing. I would love that everybody thought like this. And he, he's just got the logic of a Vulcan. Check it out. I know how, uh, how challenging air travel is these days, but there will be no discrimination on my air. It's not discrimination. Vaccinated or unvaccinated, we should respect each other. <laughs> yes. And as it seems, you have trouble doing that? <laughs> Please, exit the aircraft. Oh, <laughs> encore! Encore! You are a god amongst men! I, uh, I apologize for the delay. We'll do our best to get you into London, England on schedule. Hopefully, making up some of that lost time. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy your first check. That is truly a hallmark moment. Uh, with all the craziness that the media and the government has inspired during this whole transition through the coronavirus um, this is a truly uplifting moment i have never seen a best handling of karen um, and i'm so sorry if you're a nice karen and you're unfortunately falling in the category of karens because not all karens are karens but that airline crew handled this with the utmost respect. Uh, yeah, he even respected her. I understand how grueling it is to deal with air travel these days. But then he just fucking put her in check. Boom! That was awesome. I mean, awesome. All right, fools, check it out. I know the COVID's been dying down, but listen, still wear your mask. It's a lifesaver. My homeboy was out the other day with his side piece. His wife walked right by him, didn't even recognize him. Thing saved his life. Keep wearing your mask. This photo is totally hilarious, they say. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure he put it on there for humor. But, um... If it's real life, yeah, that's a fucked up thing. But I'm pretty sure this is for satire, you see? All right, we're going to wrap it up with this next guy. And <laughs> I have run upon him before. He's probably been in one or two other of my shows. Uh, not the cringe ones, but... <laughs> This guy, I don't know, he looks like he's chiseled out of stone, and he's 98.99% cray-cray. This, <laughs> you'll see what I mean. And, and just because I'm where I'm at, I'm going to have to wrap it up with this. I, I'm, I've been a little mentally traumatized by going through the TikToks and the Karens can't do anymore so here you are here's a final video enjoy 
she makes me poop, <coughs> then I make her pee. Why? Because we're flipping psychos! <laughs> she makes me poop, and I make her pee. Why? Because we're flipping psychos! <laughs> Serious question. Did I pull it off appropriately? Or did I do a horrible job? Comment down below. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say... It's going to be a snappy new day. Yes, boys and girls. Sadly, it's that time again. We must sign off. But it makes me happy to know that in a new day, I'll have something to say. And so will you. Peace be the journey. Signing off. I love you all. Even if you don't love me. And hashtag I don't give a shit. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I hope that you're as proud as I am. Proud of you. I'm proud of you. I hope that you are proud of you too. I am.